Hey everyone, this is Emmanuel from AirTrain. So today we're going to talk about quantization in the context of large language models. I've touched on this subject in a past video and I want to add more colors to it. Now, as you know, large models such as Llama, Falcon, GPT-4 and so on have very impressive performance, but that comes at a cost. The models use a lot of storage, a lot of memory, they need a lot of compute power and they cost a lot of money to run. This is where quantization steps in. Simply put, quantization is the process of mapping input values from a large set to output values in a smaller set. In the context of neural networks, this often means reducing the precision of the weights values. Now, why do we do this? Well, with a smaller precision, we need less storage and computations are faster. Now, this is great, but there is a trade-off. Quantizing a model can cause a slight drop in its accuracy. The key is to find the sweet spot between the compression and performance. When quantized, these models can run on much smaller devices like your desktop computer, your laptop, or even your smartphone without compromising too much on performance. Quantization can be as simple as reducing 32-bit floating point numbers to 16 bits or even 8-bit integers. Now, let's see how quantization works at a very basic level. Let's quantize this matrix from floating point 32 to integer 8. The idea is to map values from the set of fp32 possible values to the set of integer 8 possible values. The set of fp32 possible values contains about 4 billion values ranging from negative 3.4 times 10 to the 38 to positive 3.4 times 10 to the 38. The set of integer 8 possible values is much smaller, only 256 values, and that includes all integers from negative 128 to positive 127. In order to maximize resolution for our quantized model, we're going to find the maximum value in our matrix Xmax, and we are going to map the interval from negative Xmax to positive x max onto the int 8 interval from negative 128 to positive 127. The quantization formula is as follows, where we essentially scale the input interval onto the output interval, and then we round the value to make it an integer. Now let's take a look at the trade-off between compression and performance. Here's a plot I found on the llama.cpp github repo. You can see on the x-axis the size of the model in gigabytes and on the y-axis is perplexity which roughly quantifies how much the model struggles to generate outputs from prompts. Each color corresponds to a different llama model size. Let's focus on the black measurements. The square points represent the unquantized baseline and then each run point represents a quantized model. As you can see, the more the model gets quantized, the less space it takes on disk or in memory, but also the more perplexed it will be. And this applies to all model sizes, as you can see the pattern repeat for different colors. Also note that the first quantization here yields a model that takes half as much space as the original model and performs essentially just as well. Quantized models are also supposed to run faster, so let's take a look at this table down here. Let's focus on the 7 billion model. To measure inference speed, they use milliseconds per token at fourth, which I presume means measured at the fourth token. We have our baseline here for floating point 16 with 116 milliseconds, and then measurements for each quantizations. Q2 meaning two-bit quantization and so on. Now we can clearly see that the more we quantize, the faster the model is with only 56 milliseconds per token at two-bit quantization. Now let's take a look at a more qualitative difference between various quantization. This website here that I will link to in the description below uh, lists responses from models with various quantization from two to eight bits on a range of topics from science to coding to ethics and common sense and so on. Now I'll leave it up to you to read through the whole thing because there's a lot of it but I'll be hard pressed to find any systematic material differences between the various quantization. That's pretty impressive. It means that with a model that's half the size, you can have very similar performance. The current wisdom is that 
8-bit quantization performs almost identically to the full precision model. And in most cases, 4-bit is probably sufficient for your use case. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and check us out at airtrain.ai. Bye-bye.